Well, as us in the Slice community predicted, Stefano Sitspas did prevail over Danil Medvedev. So in this video, I'm gonna take a deeper dive into the matchup, how this match went down, some of the stats, some of the details, and some of the funny things that were said during and after the match, mostly from uh, Danil Medvedev's side. Uh, and we're gonna take a look at the Zverev uh, Sitspas semifinal coming up, uh, who the winner of that is gonna get the chance, the ultimate challenge in tennis, probably playing Rafa Nadal for the French Open crown. This is The Slice presented by Rally Tennis uh, for this year's Roland Garros. Welcome to the show. Well, the quarterfinals and on are the clearly the most exciting time of any major, and this one's no exception at all. We've had, you know, kind of the three best players in the world of the next gen on the bottom half, while the, the big three were on the top, and now we got Djokovic and Nadal left. And on the bottom, it's Verev. Medvedev and Tsitsipas just played uh, with Tsitsipas coming out on top as we're going to get into that. First, a word from our presenting sponsor, Rally Tennis. It's a new tennis app where you can find practice partners, play in local leagues, uh, compete in playoffs to get crowned champion, uh, and also just find different videos and um, resources to get better at tennis and get deals on gear, etc. It's like your home base for playing tennis in your area. Download it now. Rally Tennis. Uh, we are stoked to have them on board as our partner for this year's tournament. So thank you guys. What I saw today in Sitsipas versus Medvedev was just amazing. It was to me, it was some of the best tennis I've seen all tournament. Maybe the best quality of a match. I don't know. I just saw from start to finish just really level-headed, smart, and like well-executed tennis from both sides. Now, obviously, the stories coming in there they were so funny. I also got to highlight comment of the year um, award goes to. House of Leaves 12, who commented, Medvedev's amazing performance at the French this year has really made us all shut our F up, which is hilarious because that's, that's what Medvedev told Stefanos to do in a hilarious way back in their beef uh, at tw in the 2018, I think, Miami Open, which we've covered extensively on the slice. I asked Medvedev about it back in Miami, and I said, hey, it's three years since your epic beef, and he remembered it, as you can see here, so that was cool. Anyways, this match had so much drama and history going into it uh, with Medvedev owning the head-to-head, -head, but Stefanos playing so well on clay, but now Medvedev making it to the fourth round or, or the quarterfinals now unexpectedly on the clay. We're like, what's going to happen? It was hard to know. What I saw in this match, though, from the beginning is just what we thought was going to happen is Stefanos is clearly the more comfortable player on clay, especially when it comes to movement. So in the rallies, as they got extended, as both were hitting good shots, because Stefanos is more comfortable on the surface, he had more flex to his game where I felt like when he was stretched out wide or when he was pressed with pace, he had more options available to him, whether to you know create spin, just push it back in, put it deep, slice it, because he was always more balanced. It's kind of like the basis to tennis, his movement and balance. And Nadal does that on clay better than anyone by far. Uh, but Stefanos was doing that much better and just is much better on clay right now with as far as movement and comfortability. And that's why he was. I saw him coming up on top a lot in the rallies that got extended and that were super high quality. So it was interesting to see something that we already kind of knew just come up, play out right in front of us. Another way, reason or another way that Stefanos was better than Medvedev was today was on serve. Not necessarily serving but returning serve so Medvedev had a hard time with Stefanos is a serve Stefanos won 73 percent of his first serves and 75 percent of his second serves that's an insanely high number on second serves meaning that he was able to use the kick and Medvedev wasn't able to read it well and do anything with it uh to hurt Stefanos so it didn't really matter if Stefanos got his first serve in or not uh he was still going to win the point 75 percent of the time on his serve which is just it's hard to win sets versus someone like that uh, and that puts a lot of pressure on your own serve, uh, which Stefanos was able to do pretty well at breaking Medvedev. Um, so there was a few points in this match where it looked like it could have gone four or five sets for sure. Medvedev was pressing in the second set. Obviously, they had a tiebreaker. Um, but when it came down to it tight, Stefanos just played like the bigger man. Like there was one point where um, Stefanos got broken and then immediately won the next 10 points on the trot, which was very like Nadal-esque. Like when you get broken, you just come break right back and just snap back into, uh, into what you were doing. So that was big time tennis from Stefano Tsitsipas. Uh, funny during the match, there was one point, I think right at the end of the third set, I think it was a bit of Medvedev trying to, trying to, uh, ice, Sits a pass, so he's got getting in an argument with the umpire about something, and then he's basically like, as a joke, kind of, he's like, Well, if I lose, it's your fault. And he's like, About to lose, um, which is hilarious. And then 
in classic Medvedev style, on match point, underarm serve, Stefanos runs up, blasts the winner, and uh, that was that. So that was a big win for Stefanos because there's a lot of pressure on him. He's the outside of Nadal Djokovic. He's the third most likely player to win the title from the beginning, even higher than team. So he's had a lot of pressure, and he stepped up to it today, and that was really good to see. So he'll be playing Alexander Zverev, who crushed Alejandro Davidovich Fokina. Still saying that right. Uh, today, looking really good. And now, so it's Zverev and Tsitsipas, clearly the best players on the bottom half of the draw. Clearly been the best players outside of Nadal. Probably even better than Djokovic on the clay so far this year. Um, so that is a very rightful semifinal to then. It's like, may the best win best man win it's like no may the best man have an opportunity at the hardest thing to do and maybe all of sports beat rafael nadal at the french open i'm just assuming nadal is going to be in the final from the top half so that's going to be super interesting it's going to be a massive moment for zverev or sitsipas will one of them will make their first french open final ever sitsipas will have his chance to make his first grand slam final ever so lots riding on the line that matchup will be amazing um it's just going to come down to i think who plays better in the big moments because they both have so many weapons and they're both very similar movers on clay so it's gonna be tough to pick a favorite there i think but it's gonna be exciting that's what i saw today in medvedev oh yeah and a couple quotes after the after the match medvedev said th about the scheduling they were scheduled at night when there's no fans which is just mind-blowing we got a meme here uh about it follow us on instagram medvedev said yeah the french open chose amazon over the fans today which is like he's you know medvedev for the people like robin hood um yeah they did apparently you know in france um amazon was the streamer for the or had the rights for the the night session and it seems like they sold out a bit to them because the fans obviously would have loved that there's all this beef and history between them uh and then afterwards Sitsipas was asked about Medvedev's drop shot at match point. And Sitsipas said, it's a very millennial shot, which is hilarious because Sitsipas is like 12 years old. So that's funny. Uh, love the beef between these two guys. They said, even before the match, Medvedev said, you know, we have a lot of respect for each other, not so much personally. I'm like, I love that. So anyways, what were your thoughts on the match? Do you agree with what I saw there? Let me know. And let me know who you think, you know, what's going to happen tomorrow when Djokovic plays Berrettini and Nadal plays Schwartzman. We'll see you again here soon on the Slice presented by Rally Tennis coverage of Roland Garros. Thanks for being here.